What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. If you guys are still enjoying the series, smash a like button. And let me tell you what, things oh, are getting sunshine. very... Sunshine, sorry. Went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Very strange indeed. Why is she so damn happy? What's wrong with you? Have you not been watching as all these things are unfolding? Huh? Uh, why are you so chipper? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. She's on drugs. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Right. Uh, uh, You're smoking right. some good stuff over there, I see. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Let's see now. Okay, it's a poster, and it looks like it's in ship shape. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't trust this chick. There is something very wrong with her. I mean, first of all, we caught her talking to someone on another walkie-talkie. We called her out. She acted very offended. Next thing you know, there's a guy trying to beat Henry's ass in the forest. We find that silhouetted figure in, during the night making his way out from my campsite. And then, oh, look at that. Lo and behold, my place has been smashed up. I mean, at first I didn't actually put two and two together, but there is no way those teenage girls we caught skinny dipping and we destroyed their boom box came here and did all of this damage. I mean, now it's been cleaned up. Well, as clean as you can make it if you're a man like Henry, who is now apparently a bachelor. I just noticed he's left his wedding ring sitting here. Oh, so single, Henry. Really? Mm, do tell. What about your wife with dementia that's slowly dying? Have you forgotten about her? So yeah, things are starting to make little to no sense. I, first of all, I did not see that coming. This game is throwing me for a loop. We have someone spying on us. Delilah isn't who she says she is. I mean, she keeps talking and talking and talking. And then now, look, she's acting very suspicious indeed. We got hikers being mugged. I just, I don't know, man. I do not feel safe here. Oh, I've got whiskey. Uh, save for later. Okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Maybe I'll need it. Maybe I'll find Bigfoot and we'll have a drink together. How's it going out there, Forrest Burns? Tell me, buddy boy. Um... Are you watching everything? Are you making sure everything's okay? Yeah, beastie! If I catch anyone, I'll, I'll beat them with my shovel! They don't do unspeakable things! Oh, that is so good to know. I'm gonna put you right there. No! Bernie, do not fall off. Right there. Okay, look at that. He's an acrobat! Who would have known? Alright, Force Burns, listen. If you see anyone coming, hit them with that very uh, evil grin. It looks like something the Joker might do. You got it, buddy! Alright, um... Let's go, uh, let's go back in here and, uh, report our findings to Delilah. Oh, yes, this floor of the Sashoni looks, um, fantastic in tip-top tip shape. I can't even speak. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? No, I just see a very, very, very creepy man. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. <laughs> no, you don't need to tell me, just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Right. Right. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I get where you're coming from. No wonder she's acting chipper. It's not the drugs, which she's definitely on drugs. She wants to meet up. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Cottonwood. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Really? So we're going to do adult things together? Oh, fantastic. Let me just put my underwear on, because I'm walking around free baller. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab the dish soap here. Uh, it's been a while since Henry's had a bath. In fact, how the hell would he even bathe? Wait, there's not even a sink in here. Oh, Lord. Hey, Bernie, what do I do? Uh, I've got soap, but but no water. Do you have any? Oh, look at that! How daintily he throws that down. Do you have any suggestion? Uh, suge suggestions? As my brain instantly melts. I was looking at him. I lost all of my IQ points. He's so terrifying. Look at that! If you see a man that looks like that with a perfectly white Hollywood grin, run! He will literally disembowel you and then eat your body from the inside out. Ah, oh, beastie! Go take a bath, you dirty hippie! All right, listen. You're no help at all. Okay, so uh, she said to go there at Cottonwood. Cottonwood's, uh, I believe, south, right? Cottonwood? Yes, Cottonwood Creek, and we'll have a fantastic, wonderful time. 
Yes, exactly how are we gonna have a wonderful time? Maybe she's left a big box of drugs there for me. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Really? Okay, then. Also, I completely forgot about this, but uh, I find it very hard to believe two teenage girls drunk could make their way up a communications line, a pole that's at least like 10, 15 feet tall, and then snap it. Or not even snap it, but cut it perfectly with scissors. No, 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 no. I think this is a well-orchestrated attempt to make me go insane by Delilah and her boyfriend that's out here just making every other guy that happens to be in one of these Firewatch towers go insane. I mean, I'm already talking to a cardboard cutout. Well, it wouldn't cut out. A force burns. It's already working. Jokes. I was insane before I took this job. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see now. How do I go to Cottonwood Creek? Uh, two forks look out. Okay. Let's just make sure I'm actually going the right way. I know I could just go south. That would work, right? But that's uh, that's that's too easy. Who knows what would happen? Maybe a uh, an intelligible bear would actually find me and maul me because I'm so dumb that I just went south. What the hell's all this down here? Oh, fire break, okay. And I believe this is the trail I can follow, right? Yes, okay, fantastic. Well then, time for a little jog, burn off some of those extra calories. Oh my, oh, you're looking a lot slimmer. Fantastic, okay. You're doing a, a good job. Oh, what the hell happened there? See, there's something out here with superhuman strength. Bigfoot, probably. All right, we're almost here. This is the place. Unless there's another place that looks like this place, which in that case, this is not the place to be. Oh, that is a fantastic tree. Look at that. Beautiful tree. You guys keep telling me I gush too much about the graphics in this game. I, I can't help it, man. Everything's beautiful. Like, if only nature could be this without the heat, the cold, the bugs, the muggers, and all the other things that make it terrifying. I would love to be in nature. But alas, I have to sit here and enjoy it from a video game. It's okay. You can't be in nature and sip on... Uh, Sprite Zero. You can? Oh, well shit, who, <laughs> who would have known? <laughs> okay, so uh, Cottonwood. Well, that's the Cottonwood tree from the, uh, the poster, right? Oh wait, hold up. What is this? Okay, map updated. It's a single ski. Wow, someone was desperate. There's no snow here. They were like, you know what? I'm gonna try skiing. Oh, you can't ski on grass? Who would have known? I'm joking, this was left over from the, uh, the winter season. All right, then. What do we have here on the map? Uh, big tree. All right, then. It still says examine flora poster. Don't tell me I have to go all the way back and look at the poster a second time. That would be annoying. I guarantee I have to. Oh, brother. I should have done that. I don't see anything around here that's obvious. I definitely do not see Delilah, and I don't see anything that's fun. Nope. Definitely all boring, no Delilah. Okay, well then. I have a feeling I have to go back and actually examine the poster to update the, uh, the map. Oh, brother. Eh, whatever. Henry's fat, he needs the exercise. One moment, oh wait, hold up. Never mind, as soon as I say that, I have been saved. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Five, six, seven, eight. Wait, why is she okay with us talking now? You do realize that they could still be listening in, right? <laughs> Her logic. All right, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Hmm, sure thing. What did you change it to again? I'm blanking. Th okay. Seriously? It's nerve-wracking out here. <sighs> it's five, terrifying six, out here. Seven, eight which you can also attribute to rack nerves. F f f oh, hold up, it was right there, I, I lost it. I'm like Dora from Nemo, I, what was it again? You said it was one, two, three, four? Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's uh, so much safer. <laughs> okay, at that point, don't even put a lock on it. And pine cones, right? No pine cones? Wow, oh, new radio. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. That is clearly not a new radio. <laughs> Uh, there's a walkie-talkie here. Hey, there's a different walkie-talkie in here. God damn it, Henry. Oh, this is what you left me. Mm, yeah, and I was really hoping to keep it a secret. 
Take it and chuck the other one, then call me. Hold up. I'm just trying to visualize exactly what went down here. So, her tower is somewhere over here, right? So, you're telling me she decided to walk on foot, unless she has some type of crazy vehicle, maybe a snowmobile, I don't know, an ATV, something. She walked all the way down here past my tower to put another walkie-talkie in the supply cache box. I'm not so good with math, but you know, that's not adding up to me. Maybe she has a boyfriend out here, hmm. All right, well, I'll take the new radio. I don't see how this really helps us. Just change the channel. Man, he loves to toss things casually. <laughs> I've got it now. Good, I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Untapped? Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Okay, I, I don't trust her. This is so weird. I do not believe for one minute Whatever she's so dumb that- doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. You understand? Sure thing. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Can you tap a walkie-talkie, though? <laughs> Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? You know that I'm scared. I think you're messing with me. You're trying to make me go insane. None of it makes any sense. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this... She's trying real? to make him go insane. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing no, my No, 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 that's what she wants you to think. What? Like Julia. No, 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 no. Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. <sighs> maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and... And you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. But are you though? Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. See, I want to believe you, but the only problem is I find it very, very, very hard to believe you hiked from the north all the way to the south, lied to a ranger to drop off a walkie-talkie when you could have just gone over and tapped on the window and been like, hey, Henry, it's me, Delilah. I'm real and not artificial intelligence. We're not messing with you. But no, she didn't do that. I'm sorry, but this just reeks of a conspiracy. There's something happening here. Something big. Uh, maybe the fence? Is it to keep people out? You know, the research site. Maybe this whole place is a research site and the fence is to keep me in. <laughs> I would go crazy like that if I were left on my own. Just saying. What do we have here? Three blind rats. Uh, all right. Maybe it's symbolism. Maybe I'm a blind rat. Oh, really, Henry? You, you, you threw that so carelessly you couldn't even make it into there. That is sad. All right, what do we have here? We have a map. All right, let's go ahead and update the map. I'm just gonna say it, I don't trust Delilah. There's something happening here. You don't tap a walkie-talkie. You tune into the, uh, the frequency and just listen in. And then she did all of that work but didn't bother to say hello? I don't know. Something seems very, very off about this whole thing. And I must admit, I was not expecting any of this to happen whatsoever. Uh, I thought it was just going to be like a cute little romance story between two unlikely people in different towers that fall in love, right? But this is not what that is at all. All right, let's break into uh, Wapiti. I still want to say Wapiti, Meadow, all right? Now, how am I going to break in? Oh, right, of course, I have my giant fire axe I found. Uh, Wapiti, where was Wapiti at? Oh, here we go. Wapiti Station. Oof, that is a long hike. Hopefully there's no one out here that wants to bash my brains in. Because I know a guy. His name is Forrest Burns, which I just now, oh my God, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I just realized Forrest Burns. I, I don't know why I didn't, okay, wow, I'm really dumb. As in Forrest and it's burning down. He's a forest ranger. 
Yes, I should have gotten that, but I guess I was so busy playing the game, I didn't actually put two and two together. His name is Forrest Burns. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, anyway, I, I have a friend named Forrest Burns, okay, and he will beat you in the back of the head with a shovel and then bury you alive so you die from suffocation. Don't mess with me. I'm crazy. Real big crazy. Yeah. They're not buying it. My knees are trembling. Can you hear that? They're actually buckling. Well then, okay, I have a very long hike ahead of me, so uh, unless someone decides to try and hit me over the back of the head, I will be right back. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Oh, really? The upbeat chipper Delilah thought of something not great. What is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yes. Uh, so what? So? I'm sorry, I, I'm not following you. Henry, our radios were tapped the entire time we talked about it. Maybe even your first day when you had the run-in with them. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Okay, but see, who, who's to say that that guy is actually telling the truth? That can be all made up. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Yes, I, I guess we do. But we could just continue lying. I mean, has that ever failed people in the past, lying? No, it is a tool you must use all the time. Listen up, kids. This is uh, professional advice from a full-time liar. The trick is to always believe in yourself. The more you believe in yourself when you're lying, the more believable your lie is. It all makes sense. All right, uh, am I getting any closer? Uh, let's see now, we are here, okay. Thunder Canyon, and we just gotta go this way through the canyon. Okay, yeah, we're getting closer. This though, there's something about this place that, uh, well, one intrigues me, but also ter uh, terrifies me. I feel like there's something in there, or someone in there. Not quite sure. Maybe at some point we'll find out. Either way, I guess the hike continues. All right, we should be here. Yes, look at this very suspicious fence. What dark secrets do you hide? Now, uh, am I just gonna break in? I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Okay then, well let's go in, balls deep. Pry it open with my newly acquired fire axe. <laughs> I would not, but <laughs> I'm being devious. Okay. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Oh, okay then. Wow, all right. Man, she's going for this. Okay, what are we going to find? Clipboard, no, it's a B. The bane of my existence. Clipboard. Uh, Wapiti. still wanna say Wapiti. Wapiti Station personnel, all right. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yes. Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Of course. Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. You could kiss it and make it better. Come on now. Uh, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. Uh, University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the. Purview of Kate Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. So does that mean there's actually no one here, right? Yeah, so we should have the site completely to ourselves. <laughs> oh, what deep, dark secrets do you uh, have hiding behind your very easy to penetrate vents? I mean, let's be honest, if there was anything actually exciting and fun, the government would be here. But uh, no, it's probably them doing soil samples. And we're over here freaking out, busting in with a fire axe, hoping to find something like Bigfoot or a bunch of dead bodies they're experimenting on. Maybe they're trying to bring dead people back to life as a zombie. Or maybe a UFO casually landed here. But no, it's definitely not gonna be the case, right? We're just very paranoid. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot-tall transmission tower. 
and they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Ooh, we have a mystery afoot. <laughs> Let's see now. We have a monitoring tower. Hmm, it's the commies. The communists are here. Generator. All right. Only kidding. It's probably something extremely boring. All science is boring. In the movies, you think they're going to come up with some type of insane pill you can take, like, like the limitless pill, or maybe a spider bites you, and next thing you know, you're some superhero. But no, in reality, they're probably testing soil samples. Yep. Okay, it's a soil grid. How? Yawn. Where are the aliens? Where are the dead bodies? Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. Hmm. Clearly. Oh! I hear beeping. Telltale sign. Anything that beeps, obviously, is exciting and fun. <laughs> I'm a child. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Contraptions. Scientific what? word. What? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Hmm. Well, this is obviously a coffee maker. That is a shower, and this is a watchtower. Not true at all, but still. I mean, they're so paranoid. They are bored to death. They're making shit up over here. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Most science equipment isn't. You're not gonna walk into your local Lowe's and be like, yes, I would like something to test soil samples with, please. And I need some comms equipment. <laughs> they're literally so bored being Firewatch personnel that they're actually making stuff up, trying to have an exciting life. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Oh, brother. <laughs> you guys, you guys are so paranoid. Oh. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. Hmm, yes, yes, maybe I can. Um, maybe there's like a bunker door around here somewhere. <laughs> Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city? Somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Ooh. Out here, you can just disappear. Really? Like the hikers and the teenage girls. Maybe we're onto something. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you. What do you mean, no thank you? You've already done plenty of hiking. Thus, me having a walkie-talkie. But she couldn't be bothered to drop by and say hello. Maybe we could have a cup of tea or something. But no, she just beelines right around my tower and then puts it in a supply cash box. She's messing with my head, clearly. Okay, maybe they're not spying on, on people, you know, Henry and Delilah. Maybe they're actually testing soil samples and uh, beaming the information back up to their home world. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, that's very scientific. It's got buttons. I like it. What is this? Uh... Not quite sure, but it looks like it can do fun things. Oh, it has a little uh, antenna on it. Yes, definitely. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Something just happened. What happened? Oh. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. It's gonna find a robot. He's gone rogue. We have some food here. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. Listen, I'm a class A snoop, okay? I've got to stop and look at every single piece of equipment in here. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Oh, all in due time. Okay, the beeping definitely changes. A map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. It's definitely not you guys. They're so paranoid. Earthquake monitor! Ooh! I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Why? What's going to happen? Are they going to shoot me? Are they going to put me in the gulag? Like, what's going to happen? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Because it's America? It's you... diversion. <laughs> wow, all right then. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you.
tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. It's the commies, the communists. That's what's happening here. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Ooh! It's a black box! It's an ankle bracelet for uh, people that are, well, convicted of a crime or something, I suppose. <gasps> Ooh, observation report. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you kidding me? What, what is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Keep your shirt on! Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Yes, I can tell! Arson is no joke! It's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Hmm. Okay, see this, this, hmm. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Hmm. Where's the truth serum? They're gonna inject it into my butt and ask me questions, right? Oh, peanut butter. Shit, don't mind if I do. It says Biff, no way. <laughs> uh, the generic form of peanut butter. Not Jif, Biff. All right then, well. Yeah, th all of this is just boring scientific equipment, but then for some reason there's this little curious binder here that has information on us. Not really sure why. I must admit that part is kind of suspicious. Clipboard, okay. Oh, male, female. Frequent departure from two forks. Clearly that's Henry. Interesting. So there is someone possibly spying. I'm not sure why though. And I don't see anything else around here that's really a telltale sign of something else happening here besides just really yawn-worthy, boring scientific research. Well, I guess on that note, let's get the hell out of here before someone decides to come back and hit me over the back of the head. Yeah, nothing around here says spies or a bad guy or anything. Just that weird binder. And Delilah, burn the place down? Seriously? That's the one thing we're supposed to prevent, our forest fires. And the first time she's even a little scared of something happening, burn the place down after Henry breaks in. Yeah, you're not really very intelligent. I mean, first of all, she thinks someone can tap a walkie-talkie. <laughs> that proves how much uh, knowledge of the job she has. Oh! Whoa, that's a hazard. Hazard nearly fell to my death. Maybe that's why the place is fenced off. They're trying to stop people like uh, me from dying. Henry? What? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake that is suspiciously close to where you just were. Do you see it? Uh, no. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. Wait, what? It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Someone beat me to it! We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us? I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. What did she do, fly a chopper in? <laughs> So someone was down there watching and then burned the place up? Maybe it was Delilah. I mean, we know for a fact that she was willing to hike all the way down right below us to give us a walkie talkie without actually seeing us, of course. That's the weird part. And then 
She suggests the place be burned down, and then miraculously, it's burned down minutes later. Oh, Delilah, Delilah. I, I think. You know what? I'm starting to think you're not even in your tower. I'm starting to think you're the silhouetted figure we found down there at the beginning of the game, running around causing destruction and mayhem. What if, in fact, that person in that tower isn't Delilah? She doesn't even work here. She's just messing with us, and she's the one in the forest causing all the problems and kidnapping kids, right? No, I know. Probably not. Uh, wave receiver. Okay. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Hmm. You know what I just picked up? Uh, uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hmm. Well, she definitely leaves her tower all the time. <laughs> hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> Whoa, dude. My, my bad. I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. Mm mm mm. You are very I'll bad just at your leave job. You alone with whatever these thoughts are. Yeah. Oh, radio off. Okay. You're very bad at your job. She can't hear me, but if I could yell loud enough, I would say that to her face, but only from very far away so she can't smack me. If you're watching fires from your tower and that's your job, you shouldn't be getting drunk. That's all I'm saying. Who is listening to us? I don't know, but it's an adventure. Let's go find out. Right, Force Burns? Yeah, but you still gonna find out. God, God damn, I'm gonna kill some kids. All right then, listen, buddy, you need to calm down. Go over there and have some chill tequila with my friend Delilah that I've never actually met. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to think the whole thing is made up. She's not even real. I mean, I'm talking to you, so clearly there's something wrong with me. Okay, let's go track this guy down, or this woman, or Delilah, or who knows what it could be. Maybe they put an ankle bracelet on a freaking bear. Next thing you know, I turn the corner. Boop, 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 boop. There's a bear standing there, just turns around. Oh, it's dinner time. And then I'm dead. All right, let's see now. Signal's getting weaker. Weaker, weaker, weaker. Stronger. All right, let's go in this direction. Hmm. It's a very cool instrument. Looks like a spy gadget out of like an old movie before technology was actually pocketable. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're gonna find a bear, a very hungry bear. Oh, signal stronger this way. Okay, let's double time. I'm so anxious to find out exactly where this leads me. Or rather, to what murderer this leads me to, right before my face is torn off. Maybe it's Jason. Jason, you down here, buddy? Oh, oh. Beeps are getting more beepy. That's a sign, right? When beeps get more beepy and louder and more frequent, that's always good. Or it could be the sign there's a bomb going off. Yup, bomb. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh wait, <gasps> oh, hello, hello. Okay, we found a strange backpack. No one's jumping out of the brush to beat me. That's good, I suppose. We've got some keys on here. That's it. All right, well then. Shit. What? Oh. Uh. For a brief moment, I thought that was a bomb and I thought I was dead. My life flashed before my eyes and it was just all me sitting here playing games and I was very sad, but then it's okay. Will I learn from my mistakes? No, I have no plans on having a life. All right, what the hell did we just find? Um. Okay, we have a backpack now, that's it? And who decided to rig it with an alarm? Why? Hello, is there anyone out there? Did you lose a backpack rigged with an alarm? No? W was it you, Mr. Owl? Hoo hoo! No, you! Hoo hoo! You! I'm talking to you! Hoo! I'm sorry, terrible joke. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what to do now. Oh, Delilah! She's drunk, so I clearly can't talk to her. 
Examine strange bag. Well, now how do I do that? Did I leave it back there? I may have left it back there on the floor. Henry does not exactly have the, uh, the nerves of steel that's required for something like this. Being a snoop requires to have very steely nerves. Uh, let's inspect this. What do we have here? Definitely some keys. Okay. Oh, it's to the National Shoshone Forest. Really? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Bodies! Okay, okay, let's just think. Missing hikers! Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Truth! Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Go where? Back to the tower? Am I trying to get my ass beat? Okay, well then. I think I'm going the right way, right? It's so easy to get lost when you don't have GPS. I, I want to use my Apple Maps, man. Come on. No, not you. This. Okay. No, that, that's the wrong way. Okay, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, who's in my tower? Who's eating my food, messing up my sheets, and most importantly, why is Forrest Burns not protecting me? He should be there in the tower, smashing skulls in, but instead, nothing. Oh wait, can I? Oh, seriously, I can do this? Okay, well, hold up. I'm sorry, Tree, but unfortunately, nature is not important right now. Duty calls, and I need to beat someone up or amputate a limb or two. They're in my tower, and I did not invite them for tea and crumpets, just saying. Yeesh, okay. Hey, 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 who's up there? Who, oh, 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 you're stealing my beer, huh? Oh, Forrest Burns, when I catch up to you, ooh, you're about to get a whipping. He's not doing his job, man, come on. Uh, okay, but I can't use the walkie-talkie. Something just popped up, but then it disappeared. Never mind, I'll just uh, go on up to the top. Very, shh, stealthily. And, <laughs> No, nope, no one's up here, okay. Really, my man? Really? You failed me. You have failed me. Just for that, you've been demoted. You're no longer watcher of tower. Now you're scrubber of floors. Later, bitch. Okay, it's a Walkman. Thank you! I was starting to get bored without music. Thank you so much. I wonder what it is. Michael Jackson? No? The Beatles. Nope. See, dumbass, I told you. You can't tap a walkie-talkie, idiot. Is that a tape player? Did, did he leave you a tape? How do you know it was What's a he? Tape, Henry? It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Yes. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Day 78. She's so dumb. See, I told you, you can't tap a walkie-talkie. Someone just tuned into our radio frequency. <laughs> What, from this, the situation, or the tequila? <laughs> What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... 
So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. They just don't, don't learn. have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Well, now, who, whose fault is that, Miss Snoopity? If we just stayed in our towers, everything would be okay. Us? What's this us? You're the boss. I was just... What, following orders? Yes. Look, you know I didn't start this fire. So you just tell them the truth, right? That's all you can do. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Mmm. Mmm. Starting to get the feeling the only friend I have around here is Forrest Burns, and he's not even alive, but he's more reliable than you, Delilah. Why am I looking at my underwear? <laughs> okay, well then. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. Right, weird segue yeah, no, into a different conversation? Why not? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so there's definitely someone out there snooping around. Someone decided to burn down the campsite for what re reason? I have no idea. Like, is there another person out there that's more paranoid? Or what I'm really starting to be suspicious of, and the person I'm suspecting the most, is Delilah. She's the one that's orchestrating this entire thing. She's calling all the shots. We've never seen her. We've never met her. But she sees us through her tower. And she passed us, dropped off a walkie-talkie, didn't bother to say hello. She's the one that said, burn the place down. And then moments later, the place is being burned down. Delilah, Delilah, Delilah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. What are you doing over there? Guess we'll have to find out next episode. Sorry, guys. I have to cut it off here. But, uh, yeah, things are getting really spicy really quickly. I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, but I'm loving it. This is definitely a big plot twist. I was not expecting this game to be so exciting and interesting. And uh, I have a feeling next episode, when we get down to that cave, we're going to find something. Or rather, someone. Or multiple people. Probably piles of dead bodies because there is an axe murderer running around in the forest. But anyway, <laughs> I'm exaggerating everything. It's what I tend to do. Never leave me alone with my thoughts. That will be the undoing of me. I'm just barely being held together by sanity. A week alone with just my thoughts, no internet, I would go crazy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. And until the next episode, peace out.